Hello, my name is Ivan Musto and yes, in this video today, I'll be sharing to you some more information if you're interested to come and work in Cambodia, especially working in a Cambodian school as a teacher, supervisor, whatever job related to teaching, sharing my experience of over seven years working as a teacher and school principal in Cambodia. And before we start, please, I would like to encourage all of you to keep commenting below or in private about questions about Cambodia because I want to grow this channel to 3,000, 5,000 subscribers and I really need your small help. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification button and comment below. Keep asking me questions about Cambodia because I hope we can grow this channel. And yes, I will continue to giving you value about Cambodia. And yes, as I mentioned by previous video that you can actually watch in the link below, you can work in Cambodia as an English teacher and it's very important that you have a TESOL, a TEFL, or any teaching diploma or teaching degree is very important because Cambodian schools have become more competitive. And talking about working in Cambodia, there are four terms in Cambodia. So two terms is for one semester and two terms is for the second semester. So a Cambodian school will have around 30 days of public holidays because as you know Cambodia has many holidays we have Khmer New Year then we have Chinese New Year because there is a strong minority of Chinese in Cambodia right now and of course International New Year and most of the times you are paid for the public holidays and Cambodia also has many holidays for its king and various days that are observed in the Kingdom of Wanda. In fact, Cambodia is one of the countries with the most public holidays in the world. And yes, salaries are paid once a month. Yes, in Cambodian school, salaries are paid once a month. Usually, they will make a bank transfer. The most popular bank in Cambodia is ABA Bank. However, there are other banks that are also affiliated to different schools. And talking about sick leaves and talking about leaves, actually in Cambodia, it's not too easy to get a, a sick leave or a leave because if you get a job in a Cambodian school, then yes, you have to work there. And of course, sometimes you can get a leave, but it's quite difficult unless you are seriously sick. And right now, schools have actually reopened. Before, schools were done online. Now, all schools are open and you can actually teach in a Cambodian school. But you need to be fully vaccinated to be a teacher in a Cambodian school because of what happened recently. It's very important that you have been fully vaccinated. And I think if you want to teach in Cambodia, it's also important that you know when the school year starts and when the school year ends. The school year usually starts in September and it usually ends in June, July. And then we have around two months of holidays. Sometimes it's three months and sometimes we have summer school. However, some schools, they don't have holidays at all. You finish the school year, then you start again. So. Yes, it's also best for you because if you're a teacher, you have to keep working. If you don't work, you don't get paid. So it depends on the school. Of course, the best schools like CIA International School or British International School, those big international schools have holidays, their vacations, and they are paid vacations. So it depends. You have to check out with the school. But definitely, you can come to Cambodia, you can teach, and you can get used to, to the culture. Children are great. They all speak English. Remember that if you work as a foreigner, you are a marketing tool. So it's very important that you know how to dress, you know how to behave, observe the local culture, and also be a role model. So 
Yes, this is all I have for you today. Feel free to ask me any questions about Cambodia in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.